Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Dog and Party, the place of only fine craft ales. If you haven't met him before, this is not the world famous brother, this is a beer engine or a beer pump. And today we're doing technical. We are telling everybody how to set up your beer pump, whether you're own brewing or not own brewing, to your favourite device such as your king keg or your corner keg or bag in the box. So let's start with people that are own brewing. Let's start with this. I've shown you this before in the dog and partridge. This is a beer check valve. Get these on eBay. RBLS are doing these. That's RBS beer supplies, not the Royal British Legion. Uh, about 23 quid. Now, you're going to need these as your beer is going to flow straight through your engine from your corner keg or your pressure barrel. Because the beer is under pressure, there's no valve in here, so the beer will just flow straight through. So that you need this. Right, so, half inch barb. That means you need an half inch tube from there to the back of your beer engine. And then you'll notice this is a 3 8 outlet. So all the people with corner kegs, all you need then really is your beer line. Your beer line in there. Your... Um, ball lock onto your outpost of your of your corner keg your corner keg on the low pressure level between 10 and 5 and 10 psi i've got my around about seven at the minute that's as simple as that from your corner keg to your check valve your check valve to your beer engine pour yourself some great beer the only thing is i keep the check valve near the beer engine make sure that's a nice short bit of hose you're using there right what if you've got a what if you've got a uh, king keg? Well, again, you're still going to need your check valve. So your check valve is just connected just the same way. But what I've done with all my uh, king kegs and a lot of my other pressure barrels is fitted that tap. See that tap there? I'll tell you for why. Because I use this little thing here. This um, is a three three eighths to half inch, three eighths, half inch, half inch tube will fit over that tap. If you just eat this end up a little bit in hot water, bit of boiling more hot water, straight over, straight over, push it on, give a clip on there first, tighten it up. Then that will give you your beer engine connected to the ample. Just over there on that ample over there, I have. That's very set up. So I've got beer engine, check valve, and we can't see it behind here, pressure barrel. Let's see if it's worth it. Now you're going to need some CO2. Once you've used your CO2 in here, you're going to need CO2. So make sure you get your pressure valve with that right fitting. And look at that already. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Look at the creamy head on here. And I don't know if you can see on the old film, but look at the bubbles just rising and creating that little bit more glorious creamy head. And just look how thick that creamy head is. Look, look. Mm. Just try it to make sure it's okay. Look at that. We're going about the legs in beer. And now you see the way that that white head is holding itself around the glass. That's called the legs. And that and you know you've got a good, creamy, smooth, full body pint. In here at the minute, I've got a Pilgrim's Oat. A dark beer, but oh yes. Mm. Beer engines you can pick up anywhere eBay, Facebook, Marketplace, RBLS are selling some reconditioned ones around about 130, 140 quid. You don't have to have a check valve if you're going to go straight to beer in a box. But if not, you're going to need a check valve as well, around another 23, 24 quid. 0.365 have an inbuilt check valve. So if you go on their website, 0.365 are doing these with the check valve built in. And the connector, one of these, straight 
straight to your beer in the box. So all those people who don't own brew, if you want pub quality beer, I will miss the pubs. Pub, oh pub quality beer at home, try getting one of these. If you want to smash out 130, 140 quid, what else are you going to spend your money on in a minute? It's not like you can go out for a free course meal with a missus and a bottle of wine, is it? So, uh, 140 quid. Put quality beer. RBS is selling these, eBay is selling these, and actually my local brewery is selling these as well. Where's your local brewery? Don't know. Go on a app called Brew to You. Now that's Brew to You. Go on that app, punch in your postcode, and it'll bring up your local brewery. Or even your local pub that's delivering beer. But some pubs, uh, sorry, breweries, are still doing click and collect. So um, my, my local brewery, Ape Sale, they're doing click and collect, phone and collect, what you like to say. Because uh, they had the off, uh, foresight of being an off license before they became a bar. So they're selling boxes of beer still. Great, your favourite beer, a time. So. Let's just try your favourite beer at home. Let me find my glass. Here we go. Round here. And let's just try it straight from the box. There we go. There's your favourite beer in your glass. Not much of an egg, really, is it? That's your favourite beer, okay, but. All I could do with a bit more life, hence your beer engine. Now I've already connected one of those little devices from RBLS. You've got to wrench just down here. Here we go. Now you get this end and you put it on to your tap, straight onto your tap that comes in your beer in your bag. You just slide it on, turn it on, and away you go. That's it, simple as that. I've already primed me, that means I've already brought, brought some beer through. Whoa! Whoa. Need to get it on properly there, obviously, because it was leaking. That's better this time. Woohoo! So we pull through. Again, what we really want now is that pull quality beer. Let's say. How you can remember your favourite beer all those months ago when we used to go and watch rugby and the football in the pub and have a great pint and a laugh and a chat with your mates. Oh, oh. Right, just like that celebrate. This is an old beer engine. I've had it for years. I got it off eBay. It did come with South Pour. This means it's a short little spout. So I bought a little, uh, another little spout there just to go on there to make it a proper northern pour uh, and give you a great head. Yeah, you, so your northern pour wants to be always in the bottom of the glass, add your pour and away you go. Oh, look at that already, look, look, you just know, look, you can see the bubbles rising. Oh, it's dripping away, I'm sorry. But, oh, just looking at his mouth watering. Let's give it a go. That's what we've missed. That's what we've missed. A good quality beer at home. Your favourite beer in the glass. What could be better? Oh, well, I'm rather full of those now. Now I've explained that to everybody. I hope that helps. If you are watching on. Facebook, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. That was really good. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and keep watching, keep subscribing because we'll be doing more great beer reviews of world famous Alan Partridge next time on the Dog and Partridge. But until then, it's a goodbye from, well, it's a goodbye from the beer engine, it's a goodbye from me. Turn around.